Hey guys, it's Friday, cut in day for Lake Winnebago Sturgeon Spearing. The crew's all here, we're ready to go after it. So as you can see, we put the decoy pretty much in the center of the screen. And we have a known location of the sturgeon then when we see them. If they're coming this way, I can look in my hole because I know the location of the camera and the location of the decoy. I know that fish is swimming right out here, just to the right of the decoy. And vice versa if it's on the other side. So it's just something we do to increase our odds. It's not as fun as seeing them with your own eyes in the hole, but Anytime you're pulling a fish out, it's awesome. Yeah, another awesome thing about sturgeon spearing is just the community aspect of it. Brad and I have been friends since we were in grade school and now he lives in Arizona. This is like the one time of year I get to see him. I mean, you look forward to this all year, don't you? I love coming back for this. It's just awesome getting together and not only just your friends and family. I mean, my five-year-old's coming out with me this week. We're going to try to get out tomorrow. Um, if I don't fill my tag, we'll probably try one day off of work this week and take my five-year-old out. And My wife loves it. It's just a big family sport. You get to hang out with family and friends. And when you actually do pull a fish out, it really brings you even closer together. It's just awesome. There's on the camera. Beaks on the camera. Hurry up, hurry up. Coming right underneath me. Did I get him? I don't want him. Hit. Him? Yeah. That was the first one. I think it's my first spit. Oh, oh, this one. Justin, right here. We missed. You got him? Yeah. Yes, nice job, Brad. Take your time. Nice fish. Ooh. He's in the camera. Don't put too much tension on it. Woo! That's how you do it on Lake Winnebago, baby. Larry Smith Outdoors. First dollar of the day, baby. some footage for you guys today and it took about a half hour uh, buddy Brad got a nice fish yeah yeah sorry we're a little shook up and we're not talking very clearly and the shack looks like a mess but that's sturgeon spirit man this is what it is Woo. we just got here I thought you were kidding oh yeah. dude nice job buddy let's get those things set back up we're pumped baby Half hour in, we got one on the ice. Woo! This is awesome. And by the way, he missed with the seven tiner. Nice job, buddy. Woo! <laughs> so you might have heard us talking in the shack, but this is my buddy Brad from from uh, high school and he actually moved out to Arizona and works at the fisheries department. But every year, old Beaks here, my buddy, he comes back to hang with me and looks like it was worth it this year. You know what? What do you think of this fish, man? <laughs> Can't describe it. Did it get you going a little bit? Oh, I saw it on the camera and uh, just let it rip. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it was fantastic. We were in there for about a half hour. It usually, as many of you know, it's not that quick, but we put a lot of homework into this and tried to stay on these fish and um, my friend Mike and I spend a lot of time out here working and it, it's fun it's a blast good job man yeah, thanks for should we get back in the shack and try to get one more I like that idea nice I think it's frozen solid yeah, it is. that's what we were trying to steer it could have been you guys are right there right yeah that fish came right through here <laughs> 